So I'll be working on the basic shapes and shading application using a carbon pencil, Marcelomograph, that's 4B and 8B, but I'd rather use 4B for general purposes. And I'll be putting it, I'll rather drawing it on my decade-old sketchbook. So this is how I sharpen my pencil. I just want to be careful with the lid not to, you know, uh, break it and uh, of course I'm using a sharp cutter, sharpening it manually and I have to keep this uh, sharpened uh, uh, wood part of the pencil for future use. So first I have to draw the lines identifying the X and the Y axis, finding my focal point, drawing the base, and of course, um, placing uh, the proper orientation of the shapes that I am about to draw on this piece. So holding the pencil midway and the angle almost uh, lying down, it will help me to grasp the pencil properly and uh, do a quite perfect line. So I'll be using a two-point perspective uh, identifying the vanishing point on both sides and then I have to draw the planar and putting on the shapes Okay, here uh, it's a little bit distorted because of the tilted angle of the camera. Anyway, the paper is so soft, so I have to be very careful as to not uh, uh, destroy or rather smudge too much of the paper tooth in order for me to shade proper later on. So I have to really sketch lightly with this 4B Mars Lomograph carbon pencil. I prefer to use carbon pencil rather than uh, charcoal or graphite because it's uh, like a combination of both and uh, it's a lot more um, dark or rather uh, not too dark, not too soft like uh, charcoal but uh, not at the same time uh, not as uh, stiff and uh, shiny as the graphite so it's a combination of both anyway um, I am identifying where I have to put the proper order of the shapes here so that it is easier to shade to, put, to apply the shade layer on so the light will be coming somewhere up from uh, the right side so here I usually start with square planars and then I, I have to draw the shapes of the spheres and then, um, well, the shading will come later on. So once I have placed everything in order, uh, still using the 4B pencil grade of uh, Mars Lomograph, Then just by by looking at you know the sample given for this plate um, I have to really be careful with this paper because it's so soft rather uh, this uh, sketchbook is rather old I just want to utilize it and make it useful so I usually start with simple lines and then just, uh, you know, do the proper shaping while I'm applying the shades, a different kinds of shading technique. So I hope I have given justice to this piece as my plate.
okay so since I have already placed the proper order of my shapes here I have to start with light shadows and avoiding uh, smudging it with my smudger or my finger I just have to focus on shaping this uh, different objects and of course I have to still use my 4B Mars Graph carbon pencil because for me it's just uh, doing its job in this kind of drawing it is not so soft not so hard and I could uh, play with the gradients identify the shadow and shape my objects properly So I have to start with the light shading techniques, applying all those uh, shading uh, techniques that uh, we would usually practice in drawing, in pencil drawing or other. So the hatching, cross hatching, smudging and whatever it is applicable in, in, in every corner of the shapes that we are drawing. So uh, we have to put it on and apply the proper techniques so holding the, plen the pencil rather <laughs> midway we can draw the lines quite perfectly and of course uh, holding it midway with the angle almost lying down on the paper uh, will help us to avoid uh, indention on our paper so I'm using a very old piece of uh, mm, a sketchbook and of course it's not that uh, easy to draw on this piece but I want to give justice to this sketchbook of a decade more than a decade old already and here I have already started with my shading using still 4b and at the same time uh, blotting some dark sides, dark corners, and uh, the shadows of the objects with the 8B. But I prefer to smudge it with the tip of this uh, 4B pencil. I, I don't, uh, I'm not a fan of a smudger or a finger smudging, but using uh, the tip of this 4B pencil, which is not so sharp, will help me smudge on the shadows and of course it will give me a rather crisp shadow or effect of the pencil it is so nice to use uh, carbon pencil rather than graphite because i really don't like um the shine that the graphite pencil the graphite lead would uh, create while I'm I'm doing the, the, the shadow or you know uh, rendering the shades of my objects while I'm drawing so here I'm almost done <laughs> I think the square the box that is supposedly square uh, I think I have uh, turn it into a rectangle <laughs> uh, anyway I'm quite happy with this effect on one sitting I'm able to do it and most of the shade that I'm I, applying here is using only a 4B carbon pencil so with a few more adjustments I think he, I could be able to perfect the proper um, shadow, the, the proper of all of the shadows of these objects. So applying the different shading techniques and of course um, you know in some parts like the, like this uh, sphere the glass it's good to use an old smudger everything that I'm using is quite old but rather useful
So I'm just applying a few more shading here, a few more shadows and adjusting the shapes and of course um, the proper angle of the shadows. I think we're almost done. So again, I don't want to damage the tooth of the paper while applying my background shades. I have to properly angle my pencil, almost lying down on the paper, lightly smudging and applying cross hatching onto the background shadows or rather the background uh, shade this way. Uh, I don't need to use a smudger and I don't need to really um, scratch the tooth of the paper and it takes all oh, and there we go. <laughs> So thank you for watching.